Guys, look at the turkeys. This is better than having a guard dog because the turkey alerts you there's people on your property. Wow. All right, guys, good morning. Good morning. First day of work here. It is time to get started. So <laughs> we've arrived at the property. It is a Sunday morning. We're up bright and early. Yep. We were just welcomed by some turkeys into yes. the property. The turkeys, equivalent of dogs. having a guard dog. Have yeah, a wild turkey. The, the, the turkeys are actually better than the guard dog. That was a that was the first uh, layer of defense. Right? Yes. The turkeys signified that we were here and then the dog came yes. after. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. So yeah, so you grabbed some clips yesterday. Yes. And we have some serious tools now to get some work done. Yeah, so I'll show you guys what we brought. This isn't everything we bought, but it's what we're going to be using today. Yeah. This is the most important thing. We basically got two of these. This one's a little bigger than the other one. This is going to be great. Just perfect for us trimming the sarsa. Yeah, the, the sarsa. The blackberries, right? These are just like some heavy duty pruning scissors. Yeah. Um, and we're mostly going to be using it for the sarsa plant, that blackberry bush that just grows and like crawls and expands. And also for any shrubs that shouldn't be there or any branches that are blocking our way, that kind of thing. Yeah, we exactly. also got machetes and there's other tools we're going to need later on. But for today, we mostly want to clear the ground because as you can see, it's kind of hard to, to venture too far because of this growth um, and it's quite thorny and we're just gonna just get at it really yes that's the, that's the plan precisely so let's get to it guys Okay, so Sam here is working at the door, the entrance to the chalet. Yeah, so um, this part is somewhat interesting and a tad bit disturbing too. Uh -huh. So over here, we've got some of the, the, the sarsa, the, the blackberries. Uh -huh. They're actually growing inside of the, inside of the home. Yeah, inside the house, y'all. We're going to be dealing with this and uh, working on this as much as we can. We also have no idea how much is inside, right? Yeah, that'll be interesting. <laughs> That's gonna be, when we eventually like bust this door open somehow, it's gonna be an absolute, absolute surprise what we find in there, <laughs> <laughs> seriously. Maybe we can run a, a haunted house tour, you know? <laughs> there could be some, some real big surprises when we yeah. open that door. But we are making progress. I've already cleared well, let me show you my work as soon as I untangle myself. Look at these thorns. Yeah. All right, guys, second time filming this because I keep doing speaking clips in time-lapse mode and that's obviously not gonna work. Um, but I wanted to show you what I've been working on. Right here, we have this plant called uh, Hydrangea or Hortensia in Spanish. And it is one of my dad's favorite plants. We have several of these plants across the property. And the problem with this one is that the sarsa, the blackberry bush, was starting to grow and like suffocate it and drown it out. Yeah, it was just like weaving this crazy web around the plant. So I've been going around carefully with my little scissors, um, trying to remove the sarsa without hurting the plant. The plant also needs a good pruning. It needs a haircut, but I'm gonna let a professional do that. And I'm just working on removing the sarsa. So, it's kind of hard to see here, but like you do have both plants really intermingled, shall we say. So yeah, that is what I'm working on at the moment. Uh, I've also been clearing the area around the house. And Sam's been working on the steps leading to the house. Sam's actually moving really fast. First time doing this kind of work, and you're pretty talented, it turns out. Well, it's actually out. my second time. Second time, I was yeah. Here before. Um, 
what I'm really noticing is where the bush is thick like this. Uh -huh. uh, I'm doing some baseball swings, some golf swings like this, <laughs> making things move a lot faster. We definitely should take the machete yeah. the next time. That's going to be the ultimate weapon to kind of clear the thickness of it. And then these guys are for the final job at the root level. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, kind of learning as we go. It's fun building up a sweat, building up an appetite. And uh, yeah, it's nice to be doing some like some physical work outside where you're seeing like, you know, the, the fruits of your labor right in front of your eyes. This is also good for my shoulder too. I've been um, probably like two months into my injury and so far it's been okay. A little bit sore, but um, I think this is going to be like kind of some decent rehab for it. We just got uh, loads of work ahead, and uh, but it's, it's, it's been fun. It's been fun already. We don't even have to do our, our daily video workouts that we used to do back in Canada. We used to do this video workout from the 90s. Glad, bodies in motion. That kind of started out as a winter quarantine routine. And it just became our, our daily workout routine. But now that we're doing some physical labor out here, we're skipping that. <laughs> oh, Pupper, who's coming to visit? Who's coming to visit? La 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 Look who's here, Sam. Huh? Look who's here, Pepperoni. Hi, Pepperoni. Go say hi to Sam, Pepperoni. There you go. Look at this. What is this wilderness, guys? Do I need to mark my territory? What's going on? What's going on? So guys, we are progressing and Sam is making all sorts of wonderful discoveries of random okay. items. We are going to call this new segment the treasures in the jungle. Treasures in the jungle. Things we find here out in nature. So I'm glad because I've been kind of swinging, swinging like this. And I'm glad I didn't because look what I just found. A bench. A lovely, look at the tiles a little blue tile bench. Yeah. I mean, it's chipped and it's got a, it's in super rustic condition, but, but it's got history. It's got some history for sure. It's, it's, it's got some character. So yeah, that's kind of been my, I've been discovering things. The other thing that I found, oh, there's a pepperoni behind this. A different this. one? A different one. Oh, a different pepper. Jeez. So I also got to the, the edge of this, this stone wall here. Yeah, it's kind of hard see to see, but there is a yeah. stone wall all along there. So it's kind of giving me a target of what I'd like to achieve over the next little while. It'd be great to clear everything to the stone wall. Obviously, get that bench recovered. Oh, look at the dog. The dog's trying to navigate through the mess here. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's interesting. I think there's going to be a lot of discoveries like this. This will not be the only thing that we discover here in the... Uh, underneath the bush so, yeah yeah i'm also really excited about clearing this area and reaching the stone fence because beneath like the elevation kind of drops like the terrain drops yeah and there's this big area with fruit trees like plum trees apple trees cherry trees any kind of fruit you can imagine and it's not really accessible at the moment no not um, at all it's so. not accessible at all <laughs> It'll be really cool when it is and when we have access to delicious fruits, you know? So it gives us something to work towards. Guys, one more thing I wanted to mention. I just found out a few moments ago talking to one of the guys here. But apparently today is a holiday and it is a workers day here in Argentina. And it just seems, oh, Sam finding more garbage, more treasures. But it just seems so perfect that we are starting this massive project, this massive undertaking on Workers' Day. Yeah. First of May, guys. First of May. Happy Workers' Day. Happy Workers' Day to everybody here and wherever this is celebrated. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's celebrated in other countries? I have no America? idea. Probably. Probably. So happy yeah. Workers' Day to you all. Happy Workers. We are working. And we're working, doing fun stuff here. We're, yes. we're, we're getting necessary gardening. Yes. Getting landscaping. Done. It's called landscaping. Getting did. Getting it did.
All right, time for a progress report. Progress report, are you pointing it at me? Yes. Oh, okay. So everything you see here, guys, can you pan that camera around? Pan that camera around. We've cleared it all the way to that stone fence. And if you can follow me over here, I've also made a lot of progress in that area as well, on the side of the home. Yeah. And then the last area that I want to show you is, this is actually the thickest area of the bush. And if we come down here, so if you come down here carefully, Audrey, I can show you exactly where I've been able to clear to. We'll just turn it around gently here. And then we make it all the way to the path that leads down the hill. Oh, to the fruit trees. To the fruit trees. So, I mean, we arrived here what? What time? 9.30? 9.30, 9.30.10. So we're, we'd normally like to actually arrive an hour and a half earlier than this. And uh, it's time to go pick up uh, <laughs> some locro we placed an order in town. And um, I can't believe how much we've been able to do in, in about three hours, less than three hours. So mm -hmm. imagine we put in a four or five hour shift every day. We obviously have our online work to do. Um, so we'll do that in the afternoon. But I see us being here every morning and getting a lot of stuff done. Yeah, we did a lot of work. And I know this kind of looks messy on the ground. Um, but basically, we have chopped down a lot of sarsa and just weeds and random plants we don't need. I have started a small pile just over my shoulder, kind of hard to see. But a lot of what you see on the ground is already cut. Like, we just need to you know, let it dry, pile it up, rake it, do something with it. Basically, but basically, if it looks flattened, <laughs> it's been chopped down. We have to let nature take its course. Let nature take its, it's course. Uh, it's a snack for the ground. Yeah, or like <laughs> make use of the compost area up there. But I mean, today's go. the first day, so. Day one, lots of progress. Day one, that's what we've done. So guys, I am walking through town with my pot full of locro. Samuel, you think you can grab the camera and show the peeps how we walk through town? Yep, I got it. With her pot full of locro. That's how we <laughs> do things. Somebody in town was making it. Want to lift the lid and show the peeps? Yeah, sure. I actually did Look that already. That. And you know what else we're walking with? A All go, of our tools? Uh, uh, no, well, that too. A GoPro with a 4% battery. Oh, so. I know. We're running out of <laughs> we're running out. real quick. So, so we're gonna... we'll show you the meal as soon as we're home. Right. Well, guys, it is locro time. Oh, Check that man. out. We earned it too, didn't we? Yes. With all that work. So, this is a super traditional dish, typically eaten in the northern part of the country, but mm. really, you can get it anywhere in Argentina. And it's made with oh corn, gosh. it's got beans, all sorts of cuts of meat, like pork skin. I just had a piece with the pork skin. It's mm. so good. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. Sausage. That's some of the best locro I've ever had, to be honest. Mm. It's great to be able to support the uh, business here in the in the in the community as well. We saw lots of people lined up with their mm -hmm. containers, pots, pans. Uh -huh. I mean, it was it was busy when we went. There was a mm -hmm. line, so great to see the support. Yeah, and it was mm. three dollars per portion, mm -hmm. and it comes with a a loaf of bread. So we good. got lots of leftovers, so we could at least get two meals out of this, right? Mm. Uh huh. Yeah, so a great meal to be having after a hard morning of work, but very rewarding. That was fun mm -hmm. and rewarding. Super rewarding. All right, guys. So today is laundry day out of necessity because we are officially running out of clean clothes. We do not have a washing machine in the house and we haven't been able to sort our laundry, like doing it somewhere, paying someone to do it, like finding a laundry service. So we are washing by hand and yeah, that's gonna be fun in the little sink. So let's see how it goes.
So a little mid-afternoon update. I've done load one, probably a five of all the laundry that still needs to be done. Turn, some li turn on some lights. Just, Hello, husband. Just writing here. What are you up to? Working on my, uh, my new blog, so oh. writing. Um, yeah, just keep those fingers moving, right? Clacking? <laughs> Clacking like hen. Clack, clack, clack. Clack, clack, clack. clack. I've got a, got a goal of writing a certain amount of words every month, and so I have to be doing this every day to meet my quota. You've been writing every day, like 2,000 words a day. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm amazed. Yeah, I actually, I actually have. I didn't know I had it in me because for the longest time I didn't want to write about anything, but mm -hmm. just feel inspired to do this and, like, to get something off the ground, you kind of have mm -hmm. to you gotta light a bit of a, of a, gotta get a bit of a bonfire going, right? No. From the get go. So. Well, I've got a fire going in the stove. Yeah. So we'll be warm this evening. Oh, good. Well, there's that kind of fire Speaking too. Speaking of fire. Yeah. Well, I suppose I'll leave you to it, mister. Okay. Have fun. Thanks. And I'm going over here. I'll be working in the living room. Oh, look at the cats. Look at the cats. I've been feeding the cats. I think they want more. There's three gray cats that come and visit us throughout the day. So we've started feeding them because they look like they could use some food. Um, yeah, so I've got the fire going. We're going to warm, excuse me, warm up the house for this evening. And I have a lot of videos to edit and export and upload and schedule for the coming weeks. So I'll be working on that. It's like, if you're not feeding me, I'm not coming closer. Got the cheese. He's like, yes, I like the cheese. Let him eat it. Right. Good morning, guys. Checking in for day two of work. Uh, you can see a little bit of our handiwork that we did yesterday. Today we have a new tool, a machete, which Sam is going to be using. <laughs> I'm going to continue working with the scissors. And yeah, we'll see how much progress we can make today. We don't have any errands or any appointments. So we're, we're planning to have a bit of a longer day here on the property. And yeah, feeling good, feeling excited, cooler weather. So hopefully that'll make the work easier. So this morning I'm working to clear some of the sarsa growing on this side of the house. I've already cut most of it. So now I need to use my trusty little heavy duty gloves and um, just pile it up, let it dry. I'm kind of amazed <laughs> how fast two people have been able to, to clear this area. <laughs> to clear this area. I wasn't expecting it to go this quickly. So yeah, feels good to see progress. That gives you a little idea of what we have accomplished today, day two of work. Well, just the morning. It is now lunchtime. We are breaking for lunch. But yeah, we managed to clear a lot of the area in front of the house, like the yard, the front yard. So here you can see this used to be all sarsa, that blackberry bush. So we've cut it down pushed it back a bit further into the woods. This is our pile that we have here of everything we've cut so far. 
It's going to be turning into a little mountain. It's there to dry. And yeah, slow and steady wins the race, guys. So we'll be back here again tomorrow to continue this. The way we're doing this is work on the property in the mornings and then we do our computer work, our YouTube work in the afternoons. We're trying to balance both. So yeah, that's today's update. Okay, so that was a bit of a fail. The that cat ran total, away. Total failure. That, the throwing motion, even though I didn't throw it towards it, I kind of threw it like three or four meters to the side. That didn't work. We might get a fox instead. Yeah. That might be nice, silver fox. Something will come and eat it. Hopefully the cat. Okay, so time for my daily task, lighting the fire as soon as it starts getting cold. I turn on the wooden stove we have here in the living room. In the bedroom, we have a gas stove to keep us warm while we sleep. Um, but yeah, today is the coldest day so far. Like, it's actually quite foggy. The clouds came down. They were very low. Uh, so I'll show you that a bit later. It's lifted a bit, but I'm sure it'll get gray once again. Um, but basically, just now, I was cleaning out the stove, like all the ashes. I've already, like put most of it down through the holes. And then I need to remove this tray and take it outside and dump it in a bucket. And I have to be very careful in this area that the ashes and the coal is actually cold. It's completely gone out because it's super easy to start fires in this area. Just like the type of vegetation you have here, it's a lot of dry grass and like, dry shrubs you know it's like kindling um so yeah we're taking it out today's a good day to do it because of the fog because of the rain uh so yeah let's get to work Ta-da! let's go outside Okay, job done.
Cool. Okay, so it is time to start this fire, so I'll show you what I'm working with. Basically, first off, I've got my newspaper, then I have these smaller like twigs and also smaller sticks. Then I have ugh, pine. This is a soft wood, so it burns quickly. Ugh. And then I also have this other type of wood. Ooh, that's heavy. It is very heavy. It is red. I forget the name of this. It could be quebracho. And this one burns very slowly. So the wood will last a longer time. It has a longer burn time. And in case I'm not able to get the fire going with these elements and tools, uh, they've also left me some cotton and a type of alcohol. So I just put alcohol on the cotton ball, throw it in there, the alcohol will burn and it'll catch everything else on fire. But that feels like cheating. I feel like I should be able to do this on my own, so we'll see how it goes today. I've had a bit of practice this week. over there he likes to visit in the early mornings and the late afternoons when the Sun goes down this guy is definitely used to getting fed by tourists whoever happens to be renting these cabins <laughs> he's so cute ah. so we are getting ready for another day of work day three same outfit as you can see, <laughs> the wardrobe is very limited, but that doesn't matter. We're not getting that, that sweaty with these temperatures. Sunblock, because we are at 1500 meters high altitude and the sun burns up here, even on a cloudy day. So getting ready. Sam's almost ready to go as well. He was up bright and early. Actually, it wasn't even bright at that time. It was still dark when he got up. What was it, like 5.30, Sam? 6 a.m. this morning? Yeah. I got up at 5.30. 5.30, and he's been a writing machine. It is now 9 a.m., so he's already got some work in. And it is time to go do the physical labor. <laughs> <laughs> 